Hey guys, it's Josh. Just wanted to show you guys a quick little tip um, that I figured out how to do with uh, either the Dragonfly or the Nace 32 using uh, base flight. So these little boards are awesome. We use them on everything. They come right out of the box super awesomely. Let's see if I can get it focus. Yeah, super great. Um, they're tuned really well out of the box. Um, there's just little tweaks that need to be done. The PIDs are always like spot on. Um, and they're great for these little mini quads. And on any other quad, this wouldn't be an issue, but because the mini quads are so small, this is where it kind of comes up. Uh, as you can see, these boards, when they're facing forwards, as you can see in base flight, you know it's facing forwards, is when this guy is actually sitting in the frame like this, which is not a problem until you see this little USB port. And that's how you actually program and tune this thing. So at first it's not a big deal, but when you actually want to start tuning and putting uh, different you know, setups on your quad, getting it to fly better, getting it to do flips and rolls and stuff like that, get it to fly in a little bit snappier, um, is when you want to be able to access this port and also to operate firmware. And the problem is with this setup is you really can't get to this once it's all packed full, like you can see on my mini quad to get into, you know, back up inside of there, there's just, you know, there's stuff everywhere. There's a transmitter, there's cables everywhere. Um, and that's just you know, one of the issues with having such a small quadcopter. So a solution that I found is actually, if you go in here to base flight, um, and you go over to the, if I can get it to focus, or, um, there we go. If you go over to the configuration tab, scroll down to the bottom, and you can see where this is set. And this little number right here is the yaw adjustment. So you double click, backspace, and you're gonna set that to 90, which is essentially turning the entire board 90 degrees inside of your quad. So I'm gonna go over here, click save, rebooted the board. Now you gotta take your board, if it's not mounted inside your quad, and just stick it down and get it to actually boot, which is you know one of the issues. And let's see if it actually booted, which it should have. It boots, it's just the auto level isn't quite right. There we go, and it booted. And now you can see if I, two hands, not enough. And we go over here, reset the Z offset axis. Okay, now you can see the entire board has actually been turned 90 degrees. And you know, now the now the, what used to be the side is actually the front. And this is actually convenient, especially with the dragonflies, as you can see the pins are actually on the sides, so they're, you don't have cables sticking out the sides of your quad. Um, and now your USB port is actually right on the side of your quad. It's still protected enough, but when um, uh, now when you want to go and plug it in, instead of having you know get a 90 degree adapter or anything like that, it's just right on the side and all set to go. So um, tell me what you guys think. Um, I think it'll work. I haven't personally flown it like this, but uh, I don't see why not, right? It's just turning at 90 degrees. So um, thoughts, comments, tell me what you think. Thanks, guys, for watching.